Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today we're going to talk about The Witcher and CD Projekt Red. There are two things I wanted to discuss today, the first one is that The Witcher 3 is smashing it again. Four years after this single player game came out, it generated millions of people worldwide who played it. And now, it's growing once again, mostly due to the release of Netflix The Witcher that is currently on everyone's radar. Just now on Steam, the game has 53,000 people. Just on Steam, you also have to take into account the consoles, other platforms like GOG and Switch, which also came out recently. Now, it's logical for the brand to create a ripple effect whenever something new comes out. They benefit from each other, which is good. And CD Projekt Red is probably in the best position here, mostly because a lot of fans look up to them and they actually compare the show to the to the games which is eh, i mean you can't really do that this is an adaptation and they are two different mediums i know it's about the universe i know it's about the world but netflix actually managed to do it really well in my opinion but look it took cd Projekt about 10 years to build the witcher brand that we know today i can say right now that they made the books and this universe popular outside of Poland or the Slavic region. They managed to make The Witcher popular all across across the, the globe, which is crazy. And before, even in the Slavic regions, people did not know much about The Witcher. When I played The Witcher 1 all these years ago, I never even assumed that this game was going to grow so much to the point where Netflix was going to make a series. Now, The Witcher 3, for example, being such a great game overall, saw one of the biggest jumps in the past couple of years. And also, the game at that time was on sale, which was a smart move if it was also to move forward with the series and also to, you know, for Christmas and holidays, obviously the, the game is going to go down. But just to have something on sale while everyone are searching for The Witcher is genius. Now just imagine how many copies Cyberpunk is going to sell and how much they expect from that. That is going to be a lot of money. Also, CD Projekt uh, does have the majority regarding the stocks. I believe Subsidian from the Triple S League mentioned a total of 52 or 53 percent, which gives them the freedom and rights to make decisions, which is crucial for the future of their business. That no outside factors have their nasty little corporate fingers in this brand and this company. And because they are running this company so well, we recently got the news that CD Projekt leads the Stocks Europe 600 index in growth since 2009. To be more precise, CD Projekt posted a return of 21,000% since the end of 2009, which was the biggest jump of any other stock currently listed on that index. The current company market evaluation is about 6.8 billion, and the company's revenue may go up to 845 million which is apparently four times higher than the record in 2015. This puts CD Projekt right in the race with all the biggest hotshots like EA, Activision, Blizzard and Ubisoft. Having that market with a single player game in this day and age shows how much quality is important to them and how people do respect single player games, EA. Now look, in business, this is also a slippery slope. Usually when you have something like this, every new product has to deliver, it has to be good. To maintain this, so the stakes are a lot higher than for example for other companies. We got used to them, you know, making, you know, mediocre games or bad games or implementing, you know, live services into that. But for CD Projekt right now, that is a giant danger they have to avoid and luckily they are because they got the trust of the community and that is the most important thing here. The community gives you money, they buy your product, so having the community on your side is crucial in today's business and how business is done in 2019-2020. Now, they have the upcoming Cyberpunk, they also said they want to increase the production of games to give us at least one more um, game to have, like for example, two games cycle in the future. And no, it doesn't mean that the quality is going to go down, it means the company is expanding and more people means, you know, more products. 
I'm honestly glad that this expansion is happening. I can't wait to see where this company is going to be in 10 years from now and what games we'll have until then. Also, I hope everything stays good with this company because they are truly um, one of the, the, the bright sides of the industry at the moment and uh, hopefully nothing bad happens to this that the company goes down because right now they are on the rise and if Cyberpunk 2077 comes out and, you know, delivers, which I know it is because they are really, really putting a lot of work into this. Well, if it does, they can expect huge profits in the upcoming four to five year cycle. But hey, that is everything we have for today. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and tell me down below what do you think about this? What do you think about CD Projekt? What do you think about this expansion? And what genres do you want CD Projekt to tackle in the future um, with their future games? Also, join us on Twitter and Discord for more discussions. And this is LKM signing out. And as always, stay classy everyone. Bye bye.